All right, let's say this is the bottom level, and you know, there's some water in there, whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna have, oh yeah, there's a water channel here. So that's where the, the water always is. Now I've got a walkway here, and I'm gonna have a walkway there. And from here to there is gonna be minimum six feet, like two meters, maybe more, but I, I wanna have at least two meters, like six feet across here. Cause that's plenty of room to be able to, you know, drive a, a kayak through here if I want to. What does a kayak look like? That's not the important part though, the guy in the kayak. All right, so we've got our, our land here and our land here. That's the important part. And I need to get from there to there. Now, important factors about these pieces of land, I would not call this stable. So, I mean, it's not, it's not like just gonna shift around a lot, but it will move a little because this is, you know, all dirt. It would be a different thing if I was building on bedrock. If I, was, if I had bedrock here and bedrock here, I could put a nice stone arch and not worry about anything shifting and it could just push against these and, you know, it, but it's not. So these are somewhat shiftable. So that's why I wasn't at first thinking too strongly about a masonry bridge. I was thinking, you know, I could use aluminum, aluminum, something up here, or a fiberglass thing, you know, something that could shift a little bit, and it's, it has enough strength on its own that it's not going to come apart. But then, after discussing with some people about a masonry bridge, I just really kind of got hooked on the idea of a really pretty, you know, just stone bridge here. And uh, I did some thinking, and I should be able to make it so the bridge itself can shift. So what I'm thinking is I make stone pieces like this. And these will probably be like styrocrete. Styrocrete with uh, you know, a good layer of mortar on the outside to make sure they're nice and strong. And I probably put more of them than this. But this is, this is the rough idea. So, you know, just your basic arch, except it's not actually connected uh, across each, each one of these things. So they'll have the right angle so that they fit up to the next one so that when you put them all in, they do stay in an arch shape, right? But because they're not mortared together, they can shift a little bit. And then I'm thinking, just take the dirt and go right over it. And this will all just be dirt. And, you know, I'll put grass in there. I was thinking about putting nine different blocks here. And I calculated all. There's, a, there's a, an actual size, you know, what's a cross-section side view of one of the blocks. But then I was like, no, I think I want to make just six big ones. Because... I like big ones, I, I don't know. Yeah, like that. So each one of these rotates 30 degrees, which means each one of these individual angles on the block is 15, so like that angle there is 15 degrees, 15 degrees. And these are a foot and a half, or 18 imperial noodle units. Because, I mean, all my stuff has fucking inches on it. Okay, so this is the top view of the bridge, totally not to scale or anything. If I make like a four foot wide thing, like mold, then I can make a four foot wide piece and then the next piece I can cut in half and get a two foot piece here and a two foot piece here and then get a full piece here and just, you know, stagger them like that. They'll be pretty big pieces, but I'm hoping I can move those. I should be able to move those. Huh? Ooh, well, I've got this stuff. Sorry for the backlighting there. Um, these pieces of wood, they were what I used to make these. I don't have any more of those to make, so that's up for grabs. Okay, let's just fast forward a bit. Here's my mold. It's just a you know, pretty simple wood thing. 
few screws in each corner and these taper down 15 degrees on each side and it's almost four feet across when I cut these boards in half it ended up being almost four feet which is good enough fine so I just need to fill this nine times boy that's a lot of styrocrete I guess I better start grinding. Oh, do I feel like grinding styrofoam right now? Uh, I guess the answer is yes, because I need to get these pieces made soon because I'm gonna run out of places to dirt, <laughs> to put dirt. Right now on my path here, I'm like maybe here. So a few more wheelbarrows of dirt and I'm gonna be on the bridge. So I better get these made. Okay, well, if I make one per day, it's a week and a half-ish. I'm thinking I'm going to need pretty much a full barrel to fill that mold. Yeah, that'll, that looks about right. Roughly one barrel. All right. Yeah, maybe I'll just do one full barrel, and wherever that comes up to in the mold, hopefully it's thick enough for me to feel like it's thick enough, you know, with my feelings. Oh, right, that's close enough. All right, three buckets of bits in my mixing bag. And now I'm gonna try to get one eighth that amount of cement in a bucket and then mix it with a bunch of water, make it nice and soupy, dump it in there. So I'm aiming for eight styrofoam bits to one cement, but I don't actually measure it, I just kind of eyeball it. That's eight buckets of styrofoam bits, one bucket of cement, and the appropriate amount of water. I think that is enough. It's definitely more than six imperial noodle units thick. It's more like eight or so. Ooh, and I still have some in my barrel. Great. No. No. Uh, we're gonna help too. You can help too. No. Hand me that piece. Helping. Yeah, you're helping. Nice piece. Simply. Nice of Jamie. Oh, nice bridge. Don't wreck it. Keep it standing. 